Hey guys, cool blind way back. I'm Rick. Eric. Uh, Aaron. I guess it's my I'm turn. Calvin. I wasn't sure if it was my turn where we went. And I got confused. <laughs> 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 I just imagine the blue screen hit you. To <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Ben 10. Ben 10! Ben, ben 10! Where last time on, we ben introduced to Ben, yep. the 10, the arm, well, the and four. Gwen. And Max. Ben and Gwen. Well, we saw a 10 in the intro, which I try not to watch. Yeah, I'm not going to watch it. I don't want to see more. And we saw silhouettes on his watch. Yeah. And Colonel Campbell, which is great. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we had uh, Vilgax, I think, who was the bad guy that lost mm-hmm. his box that goes and on his your wrist. Arm. And his body. Well, it wasn't his. He was stealing it. He was, he was killing like, that ship and taking it mm. as a pirate would. True. So you think he's a pirate? I think he's like an evil general. And I love <laughs> that they said, fuck the hero's journey. There's no, like, hesitation. Yeah. Like him and Grandpa on board immediately. Yeah, there was no, like, denying the call to adventure. Yeah, yeah let's do it. We're fucking aliens now. Or... <laughs> All right, Snake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn. There's fire, so yo. much fire in this show. It's okay. Right. Flame on! I'm here to help. I caused this, but I'm sorry. Absorb it! Oh, is he absorbing it? He, he is. is! Whoa. Spicy. Man, he's learned how to use more of his powers, huh? Spicy and spicy. Man. Out the window. Out the wall. Oh, he just cut that there. building in half. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! That is I'm sure you all want to thank me personally, but really it's all in a day's work for no way! A gold sumo slammer card! Whoa. Where'd you get it? I've been searching all over for that! The fire was just a diversion to cover up a jewelry store robbery! Jesus. The bad guys are getting away! Elaborate no plan. Uh, I knew that. Damn, you didn't get the card! Why would if he touched it, it would burn, Aaron? But it's gold! He touched them, they didn't burn. Everyone's watching. Yeah, hardcore. Why are you watching? You gave him one episode. <laughs> well, that was enough! <laughs> they're gonna show like every alien, there's gonna be no surprise. They're kind of blurry, to be fair. Yeah, they're yeah, pretty yeah, blurry. Yeah, you I'm can't not, really I tell what they are. Ah! No. <laughs> oh, they numbered them. That's he fun. Turns that into a oh, really so that was out of order. redhead. Wow. What? Look at that! Wow. Like a weird dotted. Like, yeah, it's very noisy. Yeah. It's not always everything, though. But then sometimes it is like everything. Man, I've noticed a lot more. Best, this episode, I should have bought those asbestos seat covers when I had the chance. No! I'm sorry, <laughs> Grandpa. I can't help it. Well, they just have an RV for fighting crap. Ghostbusters have a station wagon. Right. He blew the tires off. <laughs> Take out the axle. No, that's simple. Hands against the wall. <laughs> I would. <laughs> right? I, I, I would I would very much. Pumps <laughs> pick the wrong day to be back. No! Guys. Huh? What? <laughs> That's great. It's just a kid! Get the jewels! Freeze! They're all yours, officer. Man, you can just run away from the scene. I know y'all want to thank me, but. Step aside, son. This isn't playtime. Playtime? I'm the one who captured them. Do you want to be found out? What you're doing is illegal, son. What was that? Oh, <laughs> How did you get in? Well, Green Pastor Goblin. Yeah. I am still <laughs> your landlord, remember? Maybe not since your rent is six months past six due. Six months. All my funds go into my research. You must be an animal lover. Then you're gonna love this. Well, Loki. <laughs> What's that? You remember the moose? Wonder if he can control. <laughs> this is my transmodulator. Phase number one. He's gonna turn to it a creates point? and accelerates mutations at the genetic level. Observe. Ba-na-na-na. Oh, oh! It's a bullfrog. Gee, Naruto. Okay, I have an issue with that. This is... Frogs don't have teeth. This one does, Calvin. It evolved. It mutated, as you just said. It's an invertebrate. It mutated. We all start off as invertebrates, Calvin. It's got four eyes. You didn't say anything about that. (laughs) Those are eye spots. They look like eyes. Sugary cereals. Slammer cards. Cool. Nice. 
Gotta get myself serious. Don't get a mail in phone, they're just in the box. It's the best. I thought this store prided itself on wine selection. Only candy, octopus. Why are you eating all those weird Why are you turning now, then? Oh, he speed. searched every single one. He went speed lizard. Speed. Yep. Strange oh, man. That Another red racer. card. Gotcha. He's tiny. What are you doing? Uh, Whoa. Looking for the gold sumo slammer card? Duh. You're supposed Whoa. to use your powers to help people, not find some stupid trading card? <clears throat> well, someone is going to have to pay for all this. Orochimaru? Someone is going to have to pay for all this. <laughs> But don't you think you're getting a little it's gold. obsessed? Maybe you're right, Grandpa. I don't deserve a gold sumo slammer card. I mean, it's not like I rescued a bunch of people from a burning building or anything like that. Superhero guilt is pretty low. Hey, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. <laughs> he doesn't have, like, an x-ray yeah. persona or anything. Yeah. Nothing he knows about it anyway. Whoa. Those are four eyes. He's wearing glasses, Aaron. That's that's not very the rude. doctor. Freeze! Get down off Freeze. that giant frog! <laughs> Put your hands up! Oh, what would you do if this happened to you at Walmart? Oh man! Oh man! The hamster! It's a it's a. Potential, my he's pets. liberating pets. That's what he's doing. Oh, rodent of R O U S. Yeah, it's an R O U S. Rodent of unusual size. Yes. Today I will make history, or should I say prehistory? Make the world. If he didn't go serial diving, one of those heroes could be saving us from becoming hamster chow. What's the recharge time? This Ten guy's minutes. This is crazy. This guy's plan is to take over the world and he's gonna start at the Mega Mart. He needed parts for the machine. <laughs> oh, it's electric. I don't think we have to buy all this cereal anymore. <laughs> I think there's bigger problems. I really like this animation, it's good. Ben! Not even giant hamsters can mess with Ben Tennyson. Tennyson. Ben Ten. Tennis. They said his name in the first episode. Oh, you did. I didn't write that. The bullies did. I will turn Washington, this, Washington D.C. into Washington B.C. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> Look at that cock. I legitimately love that. Too. <laughs> Go get him. He's a friend. You saved the store. What? If there's anything I can do to repay you, anything you want. The whole set of sumo cards. Yep. The whole was. set. The gold. The complete well, set. Well, now that you mention it. No! <laughs> just mail it to me in this RV that travels. Ah, just like the good old days before I retired. What so, did you, what exactly did you do? What kind of plumber Storm were you, Grandpa? Ah, uh, yeah, darn good one. Mm, he worked in wet works. I see. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> see the alien on his rear view mirror? Five years ago, Dr. Anima was a promising researcher in veterinary science. But it turned out he was doing all these twisted genetic experiments where he was mutating animals. And when he didn't win some big prize called the Verities Award, he flipped out. Anything about this sound familiar, Ben? There it is. He just wanted to collect some cards. Air relates. This is Air's dark future. Being a hero and getting my Pokemon cards? Yes! <laughs> A human skull? Yep. You use it on a skeleton? It looks so big. It's really close to the Force perspective. Oh, okay. <laughs> like it's as big as those dinosaur bones. See, I only needed a few components to push my work into phase two. Phase two? The reanimation of dormant cells. Oh, he's gonna bring this museum back to life. Dinosaurs. Or is that a mammoth? Observe! Yeah. So it's not a big mutated one, it's just alive again. Sure, it's a zombie animal. That's not scary. It think, would right? technically have like metal spikes inside of where its body is, keeping yeah. it up. <laughs> so it's a, and it wouldn't be able to breathe our air. Yeah. It's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be the beast I hate again. seeing his skin! Ah! Oh, that's different. Ooh. Four arms. This is, the, this is the strong one, I'm assuming. 
grab mammoths by the horns. Oh, can you bring that back on? <laughs> Ben's not the only one with skills. That was a priceless artifact. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, birds are just dinosaurs. I think I'll rip her apart. Okay, get the skin back. Okay. Yeah, get skin back. Yeah, but it's oh, nice. it's oh, nice. You just fight the Jurassic Park toys so you can take yeah. off and see the ribs. Yeah, that's cool. Amazing. Why did you want to see the ribs? So battle damage. You can lay it on the side and it makes it look like the T-Rex is eating it. Yeah. Okay. It's very strong. I'm gonna hurl. Four eyes so he gets even dizzier. <laughs> Maybe. The damn parrot. Oh no! Yep. Yep. Paratactyl! Sheesh. Dude, what would change while you're in the middle of the air? Seems like he has a charge time. <laughs> we just pick up. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's... We're about to find out. Uh, oh. Uh, just okay. in time. Jeez. Jeez, that's a big crater. <laughs> Oh, the sumo the card. sumo slammer! Golden sumo slammer! Dr. Kelly accepts Verity's award. He's gonna finally pick up his award! Yes. That's what he wanted. He just wanted his award. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm gonna get the award. I thought it was gonna be something for award nomination. No! <laughs> he wanted his award. Well, award he went, first. He went crazy when he didn't get it. I thought it was so much deeper. <clears throat> no. Oh, well. What'll be next? Mom's gonna kill you. Oh, that was my time. I can help it. It's hero time. And I think we're gonna quickly learn that this happens when it needs to. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? Can it fly? It's okay. Which is this one? It's okay. Insect. It can fly. Whoa! Uh, flying type is strong against bugs. Like it would have killed the founding fathers to install an elevator. <laughs> There's a strange floatiness to some of the movement. She has a good scream, at least. <laughs> Go! Stop Animo! We're all right! Speak for yourself! And here is my Verities Award. Of course, it was an honor just to be nominated with a distinguished group of scientists. <clears throat> I love this. He's so petty. Can you imagine? <laughs> I like this guy who just happened to be by it, talking about it too. Yeah. Here's my award. Whoa! I struck sumo slammer gold. It's really cool. The angle of the tentacles, eye stalks, shows emotion. You know? Yeah. It's working kind of like an eyebrow. Sumo wrestlers aren't allowed to have facial hair. And he's got a laser. Fuck yeah, man, his horns. What's that? What? Damn. Stink fly. The award! Is it gonna shatter? <gasps> it was, man, it wasn't made of gold or anything? My transmodulator! Is it gonna shatter? It's gonna turn it back into bones. Oh, Rex. It's sad. He was a living thing. Rexy! Good thing it went out to everywhere. Good thing it was very specific. Just the things that were evolved. Don't even yeah. try to accept to me now. Does she have a pet now? <laughs> the parrot? Yeah. What the big rat? That award. Hamster. I've got it coming to me. I want it. <laughs> he really <laughs> wants it. <laughs> so bad. Thanks. Yeah, well, that's what we heroes do best. Rescue dweebs. You are such a major doofus. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> I like the blue <laughs> We got to see more. We got three more of them here. Mm. Yeah, we're up to seven out of ten. Is that seven out of ten now? Yeah. So, what are the actual names? There's stink, stink fly, four. gray matter, and forearms. Which ones are which? Gray matter is the little tiny guy. Forearms is forearms. And stink fly is clearly stink fly. Man, thank, I, I would have forearms red. Yeah. So I was so close to getting his name right. Hmm. 
Uh, is it just like the number four and then F O U R space? Yeah. Oh, it's way down there. The tiny guy was interesting too. Yeah, I thought he was going speed, just like looking sure. through really quickly, but got small, which I feel like would just take much longer. But I don't know, like what yeah, you'd have to climb the box and then rip the flap open and then crawl down inside. Maybe the small guy is kind of like can jump or something. I don't know. I don't know maybe. All those boxes were knocked over, so either he created were. a hell of a disturbance, or he was in that aisle for longer than we believed that he was. Yeah, I hope. Because <clears throat> the time frame, it was weird that he did that and then couldn't use it for the other one. Mm -hmm. And then later on, it felt like he had just used it to fight the mammoth and was already able to use it again for the stink fly. But we don't know how long they were driving. I guess. Necessarily. I don't know where the Mega Mart was yeah. to where the Washington Monument Maybe was. Maybe depending on the amount of energy you exert, like it refreshes How quicker. much damage you take, yeah. maybe, too. Yeah. There's certain variables that we still understand why it turns on when it turns on. I wonder, I imagine we learn more about it as we go. Yeah. But I wonder what teaches it. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, he seemed way better at Heat Blast this time. Sure, yeah. Last time. Like, I felt like we had a longer time frame that he was able to test it or train with it or whatnot, but, like... Do we learn more of like what these are or what these aliens are or how it I don't know how it works and if so is there going to be like is he going like, to meet the creator yeah is there like another ship come looking for it or something all we or? can say is that when we type in Ben Ten to HBO Max there's like fifty things that pop up so they probably go somewhere <laughs> sure yeah I mean there's something in space I just yeah. wonder like do they come here and tell you us need here some or? cool shit like can you like combine them like combine powers oh yeah and this like, one had nothing to do with the aliens hi hunting him either no. It was better. It was so petty. It had the best bad guy yet. I know we're in episode two, but <laughs> he has created a standard from which I will have all bad guys compared to. I uh, I, I, love, I loved him. He's, I love that. <laughs> I don't know how he didn't win. I like. It's coming to me. His achievement is incredible. What did the other guy do? Exactly. What did the other guy do? Well, I think it was because of the disgrace <laughs> of, the other of being a veterinary doctor and uh, then experimenting on animals illegally. So he was yeah. disqualified. Not, he, he didn't lose. It's not that his science was, like, shitty. It's yeah. the way he was doing it was He was good. basically torturing animals. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like if, if you're, I don't know. It's like, it's like if, if you're, you're in experimenting a race. on reanimating people, but also killing the people to reanimate. Uh, that, I guess that's pretty. I was gonna say, up. like, if we were in the race, and it was like, oh, well, Rick's faster than all of us. Like, yeah, but Eric's faster than all of us if he shoots each one of us in the lake. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, that's disqualified. You can't win that. Well, he didn't fuck with show his opponent. Me, show me in the rules where I can't do that. <laughs> it's like if he took. There's no rule says no can't play basketball out unless it's prohibited. <laughs> No, you know, I, I want to clarify, too, why I enjoyed the bad guy so much, because, you know, this is a show aimed for your younger audience, and I can, I think one part of why I'm enjoying at least these first two episodes is because I can appreciate how an adult storyteller can try to tell a story for a younger audience, right? And sometimes you take shortcuts, or you don't go, you don't go too deep in here, but you can go, but then you also kind of want to, like, entertain yourself and the adults that are watching, so you can just have... Like ridiculousness taken seriously by our hero character here, and the kids are going to lash onto that. But I can enjoy such lines or characters like that other doctor that's like, ah, yes, this is where the reward goes here on the shelf. And that here's my Veritas Award. Yeah, I, just, I, I love the. Uh, I think it's my favorite part. I love it. Like, I, like you guys are all like, oh, he just wants this. That's it. <laughs> that's all. That's his reward. Yeah, it's great. But the thing I put over the top that was so funny was just that guy at that moment. Yeah, showing just some random to be like standing next to him. It's so funny. Universe. It's so funny because he's like, you know. Oh, that will be history. In fact, it will be prehistory, implying he's going to destroy the world yep. and all record history and remake it in his pet dominated image. With, right? With his trophy beside him. But first, <laughs> I need my trophy so people can see that I, I deserve this place he, of godhood. <laughs> was he destroying current history or was he remaking, not remaking, but like making current history prehistoric like he was with just, the yeah. animals? Yeah. Uh, I thought he was just bringing old history to current day. Yeah. And that was like, I'll make it prehistory or something. Yeah. But I don't know. Mm. I don't know what he's doing. Either way, it's dark. I like that the villain is a mirror to what Ben is doing. Yeah. You know? I really want this. Yeah, I deserve, I deserve this. this. It's coming to me! <laughs> I'll get it! Ben killed that dinosaur. It was already dead. Yes, but it was 
Was it reanimated? The... Now it's re dead. Eric. I know, but it died again. Like <laughs> Eric. That implies two deaths. He killed him. Eric. The parrot went back to normal. Yes. He's killing a zombie murder. It's not a zombie. It's a living. It was. A it was zombie. reanimated. Yeah, zombies are reanimated. But it's zombies got like reanimated. flesh. And... Yeah. But it wasn't zombies itself. Flesh. Like he had to. It's well, it's... he has his torn control shit. Yeah, I get yeah. it. Yeah, like, zombies are not he, themselves. If, let's just say though, if he just reanimated it and was like, "Go off, go live in the woods," you know? Yeah, I guess it's alive again. But instead, that dinosaur really wanted that reward too. That red eyes. Well, he could she dominate it. He's doing what he. He's kind of a hypocrite, really, when you think about it, right? Because pets needed to be liberated, but he just slaved them to his will for his fucking award. Seemingly, how's that hypocritical for him? Because he's a piece of shit. Well, no, but how's he? How's that hypocritical to him? Because he's liberating pets, yes, but then bending them to his will, that, which is he, the opposite of liberation. He, the point of it wasn't to liberate. He wasn't them. liberating pets, right? Yeah, he was liberating pets. He was using the pets was that were at the pet so. store. Well, and the pet, the, uh, I thought he said like "be free," yeah, or something, didn't he? Like, I think that he it was back at the. Back I think at the he had a, a a good intention in the beginning. Is what I feel like. You think so? That's why yeah. he got disqualified for the achievement because he was experimenting on pets illegally. Well, no. <laughs> we realized the error of his ways. Went too far. <laughs> he was still doing it in the. But then he went back. It's a circle of life, Aaron. We all think we can change, but you know what? We can't, and that's what we got to teach the next generation. History. We can't change. He just says arise. It's not quite the same. Arise as from your grave. Hey, okay. So I read in the cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> he says to your full potential. Yeah. That rodent has a lot more teeth. Yep. He has tusks. I love the design. Rodents' teeth yes. never stop growing. That's ridiculous, yeah. though, because rodents don't have teeth that big. Yeah, but they have. Yeah. And I tell you what, the uh, <laughs> the art style with the backgrounds that has that super noisy texture, like I think it's jarring when you first see it. At least like when I first see it in these first two episodes, but halfway through I kind of forget about it. And you can one hundred percent look at any still that has that and be like, "Yep, Ben Ten, sure." There was, Titans had a little of that, a little bit, but not, sure. but not not to this level. Yeah, no. and I didn't know in the first episode. I noticed it some. Yeah, but I thought it was like in certain moments, especially in the dark. That was the art style they went with. But like to make I, it look grainy, I and darker. noticed it a lot more this episode, like everywhere. Yeah, um, and it, it's a, yeah. It just it's a weird. It it take me getting used to, kind of like uh, Attack on Titan. You know? Sure, like I, it took me getting used to that thicker. Style that they had with the lines and the the, like the outline of them. You never sure. got used to Code Geass. Oh, I got used to it now. Eric never got used to Code Geass. That's who did. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a weird spot here. Where is like the is grandpa? Is it when he like gets cut in half or something? The doctor? No. There's a there was one shot where the grandpa's like walking up some steps. Like I think uh, after this. The oh, yeah. yeah. Where's yeah. that? It's it's later. after Gwen gets taken. There's a weird, like, floatiness from one frame to another that I notice with some of the animation. Not all of it, but I wonder if it's kind of like a... Well, they're flying, cutting. Eric. Yeah, I'm waiting yeah, for the stuff. fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, look at his chest. Sure. Do you see it? Yeah. yeah. I think it's just because it's so far away. I see it. It's, it's got like a gankutsu <laughs> thing going on. All right, editor, we're at 1930, and it's about ready to have him walking up some steps. So look look, at specifically, look like at his chest and his shoulder area. Compared see, to, like, his arms. See, like, a floatiness uh, I to think, the lines? I think it has to be because of the 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 little flower things on his shirt. It just seemed flickery-ish. Watch, like, like, uh, like where... Like right here, watch kind of yeah. like the lines around that area. So to me, it kind of looks like. Uh, what, what year did this come out? 2000. It kind of looks like you, uh, maybe if you're animating this in a computer, you're doing keyframes with certain poses. And then, you know, uh, a non. Uh, a program can have, like, it can kind of guess where your frames are going to be in the middle of those two keyframes. So let's say I did. This drawing, and that's frame one, and then my next drawing is going to be frame ten. The computer can actually look at those two and compare them. Yeah, and sometimes it's predictive yeah. keyframes. And you never want to just do that. You always want to use it as a guide, or you want to go in and make more frames or stuff. But it, there's a, I got that feeling. Like I would watch Mask do that sometimes when I'm rotoing something. I got that same feeling of like movement that shouldn't be there. So. 
Sometimes when I talk about like so man, that animation did not cut a corner at all. Like that was a You're saying it looks like shaky as it's yeah. moving kind of thing? Yeah. It's like when you see a lightsaber like, a, like holding yeah. still, but the lightsaber itself it just And it was like also yittering. it yeah. was also independent movement that like you know, we as you know, pattern seeking, you know, animals, we know what it looks like when someone's walking, you know, and there was a little bit of movement in there that doesn't belong. I, I feel like what it the the shirt looks like it's created differently than like Maybe the rest of his body. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It, the shirt just feels weird. It felt like they had to do something special with the shirt so that the pattern of his flowers didn't disappear in the motion blur. Hmm. Let me see you it one more time. Oh, let me see. I mean, I definitely every, see everywhere there was flowers. They had to. Like, yeah, they have an independent. The, they movement. did it up on the shoulders and stuff as well. Just, I don't know why. It's, okay. Anyway. I think There's something it, I noticed that I was like, that's interesting. It definitely draws my eye, but not yeah. so much that it took me Is out it a of... drawing versus like a CG aspect? Like, is there a mixture yeah. of the two that they're I, doing? I, like I, I think that they're CG rather yeah. than 2D. Like, like around this time in animation, we're getting to, well, I mean, it's just easier rather than doing cell animation to draw these things on a tablet and have them in a computer or have sure. them in a nonlinear editor and all that stuff. And when you do that, sometimes <laughs> it's just this one shot. I have 10 keyframes. I'm going to need 50, you know? So I might go in and do like this, you know, hey, it looks good enough. Let's move on because I don't have time. That happens a lot. I don't know. Hmm. Um, it looks like they're using the MS Paint spray can tool for their <laughs> gradients. For yeah. The yeah. <laughs> uh, to me, it, I, I just see it's called fractal noise is yeah. what they, they you would usually use where you have this a lot of control, but if you scale it way, 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 way down, it looks a lot like that. And you can even animate that if you want, but it, it feels fractal noisy to me. Yeah. But it's a cool, no, I think, it's, I, I like that. I think it's, it makes for a, uh, like it sets itself apart. I feel like I've done that same effect in like Photoshop for like making like a title or something like that. Sure. And, like you're messing with different things. You get to like something like that. You're like, yeah. ah, that's too much. I don't want that. Yeah. You take it back down a bit. But that's like a cool texture. Yeah, you can do like texturing yeah. things and stuff. Like as opposed to the characters, or is that... it upping the noise slider? You yeah, know, sure. Too. But like as opposed to the characters, like right now we're just randomly on the back of the head of the of the grandpa. But the character is very simple in terms of like thinner lines, just color. The shadows aren't very complex or anything. No textures. No texture. But on the background, if you try to imagine the light hitting and, and dispersing in a shadow. It's a relatively just really easy ramp, and they just throw that texture on there, and it feels like it's getting into all these little tiny pores and bouncing around. It just yeah. makes it feel a little more alive. Maybe a little more, like maybe too concrete but still. Sure. It's, like, everything feels a little concrete Yeah. So I, I think but it's interesting. Okay, it the does, concrete feels like it. But. Yeah. It does feel like there's a light source reflection here. But I'm curious to see if that's here. something that continues, like, throughout the, the show or shows or whatever. Sure. Sometimes some of that stuff alters a little bit. Well, and then changes. sometimes just animation and gets cheaper, better. You can make things sure. look better. Don't have to rely on stuff like this. I, I've seen that in, I mean, things as old as like, like South Park has been going on for a long time. Oh yeah. And what it looked like originally to what it looks like now is very yeah. different. Well, the or first episode like, is just cardboard, right? Yeah. <laughs> or even like Clone Wars, like just the yeah. seasons they had of that, you, it, you can see it get mm -hmm. better each season and yeah. change up a little bit. So. Naruto, we saw it go from full screen to widescreen and back. Back. For us. <laughs> for us. <laughs> um, so you guys are convinced that the grandpa is like ex CIA? I think or there's something FBI. with him. What did he there's say? Definitely, he said he was what a did he plumber. Say this time? Well, um, he's like, it reminds me of the good old days. Yeah, that's what he said. And then the, uh, Gwyn or whatever said, I thought you were a plumber or something like that. A no. Plumber. What kind of plumber yeah. were you? Yeah. yeah what a darn good you? plumber. <laughs> A darn good one. So, yeah. I, there's I, also on the uh, rear view mirror of the RV is like a little alien is. like hanging thing too. So like I don't know. Alien like, and a, a flying there, saucer kind of. There was something in the first episode where he, I think it was that he was like, they're aliens, obviously. And it's like, you jump to aliens right away, which yeah. seemed kind of weird. And he weird. seemed so confident and, and then like he, not freaked out by it. And then he <laughs> backed up really hard, it felt like too. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, well, you know, just I mean, obvious, yeah. right? Don't you think? You know? So it just, I mean, even just, about it just felt weird. I get you. Like his outfit, you know, he has like this Hawaiian shirt on. It's which a very whatever, retired. It's a very retired look. Yeah. There's no way. He looks like he was a very big, in shape guy gone to seed, right? And then also he has these very I'm peculiar. Uh, I'm not saying like 
He's no, out yeah. of shape, but I'm saying like <laughs> he still looks in great shape. I think that if you went to him much younger, he would look a little different. But he also has this uh, this very refined palate of what seems to be like Weird food. being able to find food in the worst of circumstances. So maybe during his profession. So yeah, he found a taste that not everybody likes. Well, do you think in his weird taste, is he an alien? Does he like oh, alien? Do you think is he per alien? And, hmm. and that's why it works with Ben? Like, it wouldn't work with anyone else. Yeah. So it's not that he's a government agent spook. or he's not a military guy. It's that he he himself is an alien. Or he was and was experimental with DNA or something. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, you, I could see that, and that's why he likes that, the weird food. But also, I could see like maybe he was like a military guy having to be out into something weird and ate a bunch of weird stuff, and that's kind of what he's grown a taste to is like these weird foods. I like that idea, but we might have just watched too much Gravity Falls. I mean, that's to true too. It. Yeah, I don't think we are. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's certainly something going on with them. I just don't know if it's aliens. I love that he's like, man. All I have is canned octopus. <laughs> it's like, I thought they store pride of themselves on their selection. <laughs> <laughs> canned octopus? Where are you finding canned octopus? Uh, that's funny. Yeah. I hope that we lean more into those silly, ridiculous moments to, to balance out the world and, uh, and Ben himself, who is still very, you know, he wants to help people, but he's also, he, there's a fantasy element of living out his fantasies of a hero as opposed to just being... Sure. A hero. And I appreciated Gwen's, like, research. It seemed like she just did a Google search. And, like, that's yeah, something that yeah. you could do and was public information. It's yeah. not like she's the hacker or no. something. But, so. like, at the very least, you would do that. Yeah. And it's been done. Because it could be frustrating where they don't do anything. Yeah. And, you know, let's just appreciate that. I'm pretty sure that guy got eaten by a toad. The toad he got spit back out, right? Did he spit him back out? The, so, the landlord? Yeah, the landlord. Yeah, he spit him out. Okay. Shoot him up you have any, like, long <laughs> they spit him out during the, the discussion of like this toad has teeth that's ridiculous oh, and like, he's too... also got four eyes okay. you didn't say anything about that it was around right. that time I got too excited and then I thought like man you fucking ate <laughs> 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 Could you, what would you do okay you're at McDonald's McDonald's why'd I go to McDonald's you're at Walmart <laughs> Also a place with food. Yeah. You're at the chip aisle. You're going like, do I want salsa or do I want cheese dip? Maybe I'll get that. I mean, you're just a guy on a toad shooting lasers Heading out of his back horns. to the fish department. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, what? Like, fish realistically, department. that happens and he's looking at you, let's yeah. say. He just, like, you look at him and, you look at, and he looks at you. Like, what do you do? You just run in the other yeah. direction? What else would I do? I don't know. I just, like, it's such a ridiculous thing to Am I going to fight the toad? I might not be, I, I'm, I might not do anything. I might just, <laughs> you know? Hand him a bag of Cheetos? You know? yeah. I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I suppose the content creator in me would get my phone out and try to start filming, but I don't know. It's such a shocking thing to think about that's yeah. happening. I feel like I'd have to run for from a giant toad. Yeah. You know, if a toad can eat me, I don't... I if they this could, thing. they would, man. Toads are... Sure. Damn. They eat a lot of shit, right? Oh, yeah. I remember. And the way they... I remember... Oh, like, oh, like, I don't want that. <laughs> you know? At the farm, we had a light uh, on the, one of the garages that never turned off. Like, it's, it came on at night and it's never turned off. And toads would always be in the flower bed under it. Oh, yeah. And we would always go out. You could find toads, frogs, turtles under there. It was really cool. But one time, there was a toad just, like... In his mouth was another toad with just his, his legs coming out. He couldn't eat him. He was too big. But Ed, he didn't stop himself. You know? He still tried. Yeah. We were just like, what do we do? We like, try to get him out of there. And the toad's like, no, no. <laughs> try to keep it in his mouth. Like you're fucked up. Yeah. So well, it would be scary. Yeah, it would. Totally. I'm liking this show. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed Ben 10. We have more next week. If you don't want to miss out, make sure you subscribe. So you don't miss out. And you can see more right now if you don't want to wait huh? over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can find early access as well as the full length reactions there. So all the links down in the description below. 